You have to keep things motivating people and making people happy. The, the khadam of people and to be of service to people is to make them happy. The one who serves himself, he doesn't care if people are happy or not, basically says, you follow, don't follow, I don't care. But alhamdulillah our shaykhs taught us that serve the people and make them happy. In their happiness they follow, not by orders, not by force, but they have to follow with their heart, not with their head. The head to follow is of no value to the Divinely Presence. The head is not where this knowledge and this path and this way lies within the heart. The heart is the house of God. The heart is the house of the soul and the house of love and muhabbat. So it means that everything that is done and taught to all the upcoming shaykhs and guides and teachers is that you have to keep things loving. You have to keep modifying, making things to be happy, joyful, juicy, not dry. Not caring about people, not caring if, if they like it or not. So alhamdulillah that Allah inspire within our people to keep modifying, keep fixing, keep inspiring to do better, to do more, to have different recitations. So it's very beautiful. As a result of that it becomes a very beautific garden within the boundaries of, of the belief, it can't go beyond the boundary. But within that boundary becomes a beautific garden and in this month of Safar and the immense reality of Surat Al-Kahf, this 18th surah, it will answer all your questions of where are you running in life? Are you running towards the abode of difficulty, the endless abyss of nothingness or are you directing yourself towards the prophetic reality? And the prophetic reality becomes like a garden. So the beginning parts we talked is that this cave of safety, it requires a character in which to take the testing because no wild dogs are allowed in. Nothing washi, nothing wild, nothing of a, of a jungle. They say, oh this is the, the, the law of the jungle but we're not from the jungle, we're from heavens and there's a kingdom. And God didn't want us to come here and become a, a baboon. But to remember, you are from my paradise, conduct yourself appropriately and bring my kingdom upon this earth. This abode of the jungle and its rules of jungle and inhumanity, bring my heavenly kingdom, my kingdom come and my will shall be done. Bring the kingdom of Allah of God Almighty within the heart. You can't establish a kingdom on earth when there's no kingdom within our heart. So how to train my heart? how to discipline my heart and bring the Kingdom of God Almighty into my heart so that I live a life in which continuously asking, is it your will or my will that's being done within my being? If it's my will give me guidance, if it's your will shower with me with your ridha and satisfaction. Means that they continuously lived a life of looking at their heart, contemplating their heart and feeling that if your kingdom comes into my heart then I know that that kingdom is beginning to open. And they live that life, they run and Allah describes in Surah Al-Kahf that all praise be to the one whom He sent upon His servant, His kitab. And his kitab in which there is no crookedness, no incorrectness. For Allah that kitab is the entirety of Holy Qur'an sent upon Sayyidina Muhammad not by an angel. That was an adab later to, to show a respect and Allah clarifying, no, no we have tanzilah, I have put and bestowed upon 
the reality and the soul of Sayyidina Muhammad and he is my walking kitab, my walking book. And those whom are following with tabiuni, they follow the book of Allah As a result that which you follow is nazar is upon you. That which you focus on focuses on you. If you focus on a satanic reality, that satanic reality is focusing on you. If you focus on a heavenly reality, that reality focuses on you. If you focus upon Sayyidina Muhammad the prophetic reality, that prophetic reality focuses onto the heart of the believer. And that kitab begins to unfold within the heart. And that's why Prophet said, remember me once, Allah will send my soul to remember you ten times. And only you come into our life that that remembrance, that zikr of Sayyidina Muhammad upon our soul is the kitab. This knowledge and these realities that the nazar of Prophet begin to bestow upon the heart of that one running to the cave is the kitab of Allah in which their heart become alam al-Qur'an, khalaq al-insan. Every reality dressing upon their heart, upon their soul. So the beginning was the cave. And to take the testing and direction of where am I running towards in life? And then Allah begin to bestow in the surah how to deal with these people of the cave. In the story of Sayyidina Musa and Sayyidina Khidr We pray that Allah give us an understanding to understand that more. Subhana rabbika rabbal izzati amma yasifoon wa salaamun al mursaleen. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Muhammad Muhammad al Mustafa wa bi siri Surat al Fatiha. Welcome to Muhammadan Way YouTube channel, your premier destination for videos on Sufi spirituality, classical Islamic teachings, and realities of the soul. With a library of over a thousand videos and new titles uploaded weekly, join us to discover true meaning and inner peace in our often troubled world. Click the link now to subscribe.